When I was growing up, I had this favorite uncle. He told me, don't be afraid to close your eyes and dream, but then open your eyes and see. I want you to take the craziest dream you ever had, that dream that you were too embarrassed to tell anyone about. I want you to go out there. I want you to do it. Now some of your dreams are going to take longer than you think. It took most of you four years to get here. Some of you five. Some of you six. Yeah, but I got y'all beat. It took me 26 years to get on this stage. So let me take my time and look at you. Let me realize where I'm at. Let me live in this moment and be present right now. We are here today celebrating. Today is not my day. Today is your day. Today is about the power of you. Our stories may be different. Maybe you are the first in your family to go to college like I was. You see, the odds were against you making it here today. But guess what? You did it. I want you to remember we are all a work in progress. For a lot of people, the distance between their dreams and their reality is intimidating. Keep going, keep trying. You have to be honest with yourself. The only way forward is to decide that you want that dream so bad that you are going to work harder, you're going to get up earlier, you're going to stay later, you're going to push past the people who doubted you, who laughed at you, who hated on you, by earning, scraping. It doesn't come easy. You're going to have to go out there and get it. See, I got that work ethic from my mother. My mother worked four jobs to take care of me and my sister Keisha. My mother worked four jobs to send me to Howard University. I know that you've heard the cliche quote that life is a marathon, not a spring. Well, I'm going to tell you, sometimes you don't even have the time to prepare for your marathon. But you are prepared. I want you to be fearless. I want you to be decisive. I don't want you to be the next Oprah. I don't want you to be the next Obama. I don't even want you to be the next me. I want you to be you. Make a decision today that when you're in the darkness, you'll remember the power of you. You are your own light. Class of 2014, I am so proud of you. But I want to ask you a real question. Do you know how powerful you are? I can't wait to live in the world that y'all are about to create. You will change the world. Can't stop, won't stop. So I ask you again. No.